What's up, everybody? Sega Man back here with another video. It's been a couple of days, but I'm here. I'm here. We're going to talk a little bit about some gaming news and opinions about that. Um, you know, what's been going on in the gaming community as of, of late. Uh, I listen to other gaming uh, fellow YouTubers and uh, brothers channels on some of the news and things that are going on uh, in gaming. And I want to give a big shout out to Unlimited Productions. Congratulations, my brother, on getting the OG Xbox. Check out Unlimited Productions' one channel. He shows games that he got, and he shows the OG Xbox that he got. He's very excited, and he said he, it, it inspired him to get it because of me. And that's awesome, brother. You know, I really appreciate that, man. It's a great system to collect for right now, too, Unlimited One. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of tip. I don't know if you knew about it. But if you go to LukeyGames.com, okay, Lukey Games, if you go to their website, they have a whole bunch of Xbox games and, you know, from and other systems, too, games and consoles that they sell, but at a really good price, cheap prices. You can either buy just the disc or you can tap it on the button and click complete. You can get a lot of OG Xbox games under $10 and then up and up. So check out LukeyGames.com, man. And, and another thing, if you buy over $26 uh, worth of games, it's free shipping. So if you buy like, I don't know. Five games, six games for uh, twenty six dollars, or or even thirty. Uh, it's free shipping, so you can get all kind of games for like forty dollars, man. You know, uh, under ten dollars, and it'll be free shipping. So that's really awesome. I've been using Lukey Games for a long time, so check it out, Unlimited. I want to check out LukeyGames.com, man. You can find a lot of great deals on all Xbox games and accessories for each system and generation of Xbox. You can also find for uh, other generations like Nintendo, Sega Genesis, um, TurboGrafx-16, you know, games like that. Now, if you want to spend the money, they do have some systems like the TurboGrafx-16. I think the Atari Jaguar, I own all those systems, too. And you can find now the games are kind of expensive for those older systems, but check out the website and, and tell me what you think uh, later on if you make another video or leave a comment in the comment sections below. Or, you know, we'll talk on our podcast, the Exile Podcast, but check it out, man. Um, it's a really awesome game site to go to to buy games. And another thing that I wanted to show real quick Ice T, the rapper, uh, he. I follow him on Twitter, you know, and um, he uh, wants a game to come back. Can you guess what game that is? If you follow Ice T on Twitter, he really wants this game to come back. He got a lot of quick, uh, he got a lot of clicks and retweets on this game, and I want it to come back for the uh, new next gen uh, of gaming. I want it to come back also, and. Um, that game is, um, <clears throat> that game is uh, Def Jam Vendetta. He wants this game to come back. This is also a favorite game, I believe. Uh, Unlimited One said that this is one of his all-time favorite games. Now I own, um, uh, I own this on the GameCube. I did have uh, Def Jam Vendetta on the uh, original OG Xbox. I, I can't remember what happened to it, but um, these games that became, you know, pretty expensive, I think for the elder consoles too, you know what I mean? But it is a great game. I found this this game here at my local uh, thrift store for like three bucks, and uh, it's complete with everything in there too, man. You know what I mean? The, the booklet and the game, but um, all, the Def, all the Def Jam Vendetta games are, they're just awesome games. You know, there's people like uh, Method Man in here, Red Man, Scarface, uh, WC, you know what I mean? Um, 
there's just all kind of uh, characters that you can use in this game. This was a, this actually was a great fighting game. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think it definitely needs to come back, man. That definitely needs to come back, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, and Ice-T, he wants it to come back. And I think a lot of the people out there, like developers and publishers, they know who Ice-T is. He's pretty big, you know, in acting and, you know, really big as a, um, a rapper. So I think it can come back. But, yeah, um, it was awesome that he did that. And I believe that's one of um, Unlimited's favorite games. So um, let's get into it here about some of the gaming news. Now, it's not really <laughs> not really that great. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of um, diehard Xbox fans that are upset because of the new Avenger game coming out. That Spider-Man... Um, uh, will not be in the Xbox version. I think any version <laughs> on any system will be in there except for PlayStation. Um, and in my opinion, um, you know, they have a right to be upset about that. You know what I mean? I mean, if if you're a diehard gamer, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a mixed bag. It honestly shouldn't stop you from buying the game. I understand Spider-Man plays a big part, um, you know, in these games like like Marvel um, versus Capcom. Now, our versions of Marvel versus Capcom had Spider-Man in it. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't care too much about Spider-Man. I, I honestly don't. I'm a collector. I have a lot of OG Spider-Man games on the Sega CD up to the... Uh, OG Xbox and 360. You know, I just, you know, and I, and the Genesis, I have them on, I have them complete on Genesis too. I mean, it, it's, it's not going to hurt me, honestly, that Spider Man's not in the game, but I can see my brother's, uh, my gaming brother's points on this also. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not buying the game. You know what I mean? It, if it becomes on sale, you know, I might buy it at a later date. But um, I really can see, um, you know, their opinion on this. Like, um, they're upset and and and, uh, and mad because of this hypocrisy and that's going on in gaming. It, it, it is wrong. You know what I mean? It, it is wrong. Why can't Spider-Man be in, you know, in in the game for the Xbox? And I think it's the PC too. You know what I mean? But. I mean, that's just, that's the way it is. You know what I mean? They, they want to be that way, and that's fine. You know, um, I have, I don't really have a whole bunch to say about that. You know what I mean? Um, it is definitely it is definitely wrong. Now, if they take out a Marvel versus Capcom, the new one, if a new one comes out, it's going to be some bad backlash. There's already diehard Xbox fans that have canceled uh, uh, their pre-orders for this Avenger game. That's how upset they are. They have they have every right to be upset. Just because they're diehard uh, Xbox fans doesn't mean you should have to take away a character like Spider-Man that um, Sony uh, has it. You know the rights to like the Spider-Man games. I mean that's just totally wrong. It's not like you're putting a whole Spider-Man game on the Xbox. It's just a character that's supposed to be in uh, the, that should be in the new Avenger game. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's wrong um, that they're doing that. You know what I mean? But it's a shame. And some people want to do petitions on that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, um, but I can understand them being upset. Uh, if, if you're going to spend sixty dollars on a game you want that you want spider-man the character to be in that game just like it is on the other console that's not right that sixty dollars that diehard xbox fans are paying for spider-man is supposed to be part of that sixty dollars so he should be in the game you know what i mean that's just that's wrong you know what i mean so you know i can understand why they're upset about it too you know what I mean? And I can understand there's people that are diehard Avenger fan. You know, they like game and they're going to still buy it. You know what I mean? So, 
you know, but it, it is it isn't wrong. And those practices should be reprimanded. You know what I mean? Because um, it's just not right because let's put the shoe on the other foot. If Microsoft really does buy WB and I think I just have a feeling they will. Or some of them IPs. If they made Batman exclusive to just the Xbox, no other, not even PC, nothing. You don't think you're going to hear the backlash about that from that, you know, from them? From um, Sony trolls and different things like that? You will. You'll definitely hear it because it's always one-sided with them. You know what I mean? If we were to make Batman exclusive for our preferred platform and not have it on the play on the PlayStation, uh, next generations of consoles, they would there would be an uproar. They would be taking the Twitter, blowing up Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anybody. I mean, it'll be on there making you know going to other you know noob channels, telling them about it. You know, and they'll make big videos about it. You know what I mean? But if it's Xbox, it's a problem. You know what I mean? I just, I don't understand. I think it's a lot of jealousy, to be honest with you. I, I really do. I'm not trying to be mean, but I think a lot of these trolls and people that say this stuff and do these things and come on diehard Xbox fans channels, because in my opinion, right now, we have the best of the best value for your buck in gaming. With Game Pass that you guys call Welfare Pass. And I mean, just today I just downloaded five brand new games that came into uh, Game Pass today. <sighs> man, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm overloaded with games, man. I got five new games I, I need to play now. I mean, it's taking me away from Gears 5, bro. Taking me away from Gears of War 5. Uh, I mean, you're getting my attention big time. I mean, I just think it's jealousy. You know what I mean, because they don't have that on their preferred platform. And the only way to resolve that is to speak out and talk to your company about that, man. If you want that for your platform, you have to go and do that. You know what I mean? Not come and troll us. You know what I mean? But I just want to talk a little bit about that Avengers game, man. I mean, hey, you know, um, my opinion they have every right to be upset about that. I'm not paying $60 if you're not going to give me a full game with all the characters, man. I'm not going to. I'm just not going to. It's not right, man. You know what I mean? Um, it just isn't right. And they would think the same vice versa. If if Microsoft had a Spider-Man game and PlayStation didn't, and they owned the rights to make Spider-Man games, okay, Xbox, and they didn't have none of that over there, and they have... The Avenger game come out over there, and we want to keep Spider-Man on the Xbox. You would be saying the same goddamn thing. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because I know you would be. You trolls and you guys over there would be saying the same goddamn thing, making up all kind of petitions about that. I mean, let's just keep it a buck. I know you would. You know what I mean? So you guys are in denial when it comes to. The hypocrisy when it comes to these systems. You guys are in denial about that, or you just, you know it's true, but you just want to keep make believing that it's not. You know it's wrong. No matter what system you're on, if you're paying $60 for a game, okay, you're going to want what that other system's getting, all the characters. You know what I mean? Xbox fans that are fans of that type of game want that Spider Man character in there. And I can't blame them for not buying the game. If they don't want to spend $60 on it because they're taking Spider-Man out, which is part of the Avenger game, that's wrong. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. But I wanted to make this quick video, guys. Uh, I want to give some shots out to uh, uh, to some people, man. I want to give a shout out to uh, Don King of Xbox, E-Rock, uh, uh, Unlimited Productions, you know, Direct Gaming, um, uh, Mr. 100, I think I said Mr. 100, um, Hebot, man, Hebot's been really going and check out Hebot's 
channel. You know what I mean? He's just really gone. And I agree with that brother wholeheartedly about what he's been making on his videos. Shouts out to Unlimited One Productions, Phase 114, um, Guru Gaming, or Gaming Guru. Check out his channel. Um, shouts out to NWO Prime. Shouts out to Flip Money and the crew. Uh, shouts out to my man, uh, Baca. You know, uh, just shouts out to everybody in Intramedia Gaming. You know what I mean? Um, hey, Hundred's, Hundreds been making some very good videos, man. He's been coming up with some great videos. Check him out, talking about xCloud. You know, and what's going on with xCloud. You know, check him out. Check out our podcast, um, uh, the Exile Podcast on Sundays at 8 p.m. Check us out. There will be giveaways here and there on there, so please come and join us on Sunday. We'd really appreciate that. You know what I mean? You know, shouts out to uh, the true Xbox community. You know, shouts out to all them brothers, man. That I mean, um, yeah, but we've just been having a great time on there. Uh, shouts out to T Reaper. You know what I mean, we've just been having, a, you know, a great, great time on there, man. You know, but uh, join us, man, and uh, tell us what you think. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get going now. You know, um, you guys take care. All right. And uh, yeah, like I said, um, it's a shame what's going on today in gaming, man, with, with that. You know what I mean? So. You know, but, uh, hey, just keep pushing forward. Stay positive in gaming, all right? All right, Sega Man out. Xbox for life. Like my wife, peace. Welcome to the X.